we um, identified that we had a bit of a problem with um, over-prescribing and or potential inappropriate uh, prescribing with severely frail elderly patients. So we designed a project whereby we would review all of our patients more effectively, but also um, lead a, an education programme through the practice. So um, polypharmacy is a massive issue for severely frail patients. It's an issue for all patients, but particularly the severely frail. Um, and we saw a 17% reduction in repeat prescribing by giving clinicians more time with patients and talking through a series of topics that would help clinicians effectively de-prescribe what was appropriate to do so. And so the upshot is that patients are taking 17% less medication um, and there were no adverse events from that, which is something that people often worry about. Um, and uh, yeah, that it was good for us, we enjoyed doing it, and it's good for the patients, they quite liked taking less medication. But, well, I think it's fair to say what we've done so far has changed the culture in our practice. Mm. Um, so we ran an education programme, so all the GPs, nurse practitioners, prescribing nurses are now aware of the dangers of polypharmacy and we take a different approach to medication reviews in the severely frail. Um, also, Helen has been promoting the project to surrounding practices, and uh, I think at least one is, is going to take up and yeah. do it similar to yeah, what we've, we've done. Yeah, we've got two now. So we've, we've upscaled our project to other practices. So we've rolled out our, our continuing programme, so our practice is doing it continually now, so it's not just a, a nine-week project now, it's an ongoing thing. Um, so we've, I suppose, tried to safeguard against the future, it not happening anymore. Um, but yet two, two practices, one's already doing it and another is about to start. So we feel quite excited that the, mm. we've changed our own culture and hopefully we've changed other practice culture too. Yeah. Oh, loads. I'm just delighted. It, it's it's yeah. good to have done something that's... Um, been worthwhile and to have that um, appreciated really and we, we can take that back as a positive yeah. thing to our practice. And it's uh, a real stamp of approval and it elevates the status of what we did um, so it takes it from being uh, you know a, a small project to improve something clinically to being something that's recognised as good clinical practice and um, worth, worth spreading.